Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about the house bank and in the last session we have learned about the credit memo and before that terms of payment and advance payment and the so on. So uh, we'll today we will talk about the house bank. So what is house bank? So um, house bank, uh, it is uh, in the SAP uh, bank is called as house bank or in other word company bank account from where bank will bank will deal the transaction incoming and outgoing so at house level bank we maintain the bank address bank key etc so uh, for uh, making a payment or for receiving uh, receiving a payment organization has to maintain the bank detail in the sap so uh, so this uh, bank master record are maintained at client level individual bank account are maintained at company code level a branch of the bank in which your company code is maintained a bank account is known as house bank okay. house bank record are created at company code level therefore for every company code dealing with the same branch of the bank you need to create the separate house bank and what is banky so banky uh, under that there is a one terminology banky that further i will explain you in the one uh, diagram we'll talk about the banky so yeah so banky um, banky is the branch number for a particular bank branch given by the central bank of the country concerned in India, it is given by Reserve Bank of India. And here we'll talk about the account ID. What is account ID? It determines the account number of the bank account maintained at house level. So it's basically determined the account number of the bank account maintained at the house level. So uh, house bank ID, under that we have to create the account ID. We'll talk, uh, I will show you in the uh, SAP screen. So first I will just explain you what is that house bank is your a uh, bank uh, now organization bank uh, house bank we name in the SAP a uh, bank name we have given a name as a house bank and under that we have to create the bank account and so bank account is like your uh, uh, combined with the bank key branch code or your bank code this is that we need to create the bank account in the combination of your bank account key and bank master should update in the bank ledger okay we'll talk about this uh, so this is uh, under house a uh, first house bank then we have to create the bank account number and under that we have to create the uh, three gl sub uh, three gls and first is your main bank account gl incoming gl and outgoing gl so uh, incoming and outgoing gl will, will be your sub sub ledgers so uh, so whenever uh, we are receiving any um, transaction we will use this incoming and whenever company organization is making payment we will use the outgoing and the later on the after the reconciliation and all it will move to the main balance all the GLs as per the debit and credit and then it will move to the balance sheet so incoming uh, is a ledger is your debit balance and outgoing is your credit balance the same will be transferred to the main bank and from there it will move to the balance sheet account so this was all about the house bank so let me show you how um, in the SAP we can see so uh, we have a T code Excel. We have a T code uh, for house bank creation FI12. Then after that we will go to uh, GL creation. So we have a T code FI12. Just copy this. Go to your SAP screen. Enter FI12. And here I will enter my company code RL11. Enter and new entry so this is the first time i am just going to create my uh, my company code is uh, R, under that under that i am going to create the house bank so i will create a, a 
Citibank. Citibank. So it's a like a five digit alphanumeric. Country key. As per Alpic India, IN, you can enter directly. As I said, Banky, the uh, Banky is the combination of your branch code and your bank code. So we will enter alphanumeric. So this information will be provided by the uh, bank. So I will just enter city this and then create. Here we have to enter the bank address. So bank address is your city bank. Region we will select. Uh, um, Karnataka. Street. Road City Bangalore. Okay, and Bank Branch NG Road. Execute. Save this. And now we will click on now. This is it is just we have created the house bank, just a bank address we have maintained. We have not entered the account number we have entered the bank key so now we will click on bank account double click new entry now here we will enter the account id so um, under the bank account you can create the multiple bank accounts so and uh, under the uh, same um, house bank you can create the multiple account id so i will just create and give the name city one you can write anything or just you can write um, anything one two three a b c d anything so i'll just give one okay i can change it to two city four so my name would be city bank okay and here i will write the bank account number nine digit Okay, this is this is eight digit one more. Okay, nine and currency in which you're going to deal INR. And here we have to enter the main GL account which we have not created. Main bank GL account we have not created that we will do that. So I'm just uh, wanted to show you so. Now we can save this and again we will come back here and we will enter the main bank GL account. Just save this. No. Okay. So now this is save. Now we will uh, we will create the for uh, each house bank we will create the three GL account. One is main. Another one is incoming GL account and the third one is your outgoing. So under the asset we will create the three GL account. So th this is a bank um, bank account. So I will create, I will copy this and I will use the next available number. That is the six. Okay. And I will write here main bank account. Balance sheet and we will uh, tick as a open management because in this uh, reconciliation is required. So we will click on open management. Okay. And yeah, here sort key, we will create the, uh, sorry, we will uh, select the value date. Let me choose the value date. Value date is like uh, your reconciliation as per the date. 
value date is your system date the current date so we can uh, check as per the um, amount uh, availability so if we will select a value date okay then it will check the availability as per the uh, current date and then currency INR okay no now we'll we will go back to the create bank interest and here we will select G005 bank account number okay and in the main bank only in the main bank we have to enter the house bank and account ID which we have created so let's go and select that this is my house bank just now we have created that's why we are able to see here okay now save this okay remember this we have to uh, assign this house bank and account id only for main bank not for incoming and outgoing so when we are uh, when we will try to copy this it will copy our house bank and this uh, account id no problem what what will do we will just remove it Okay, rest will be same we have to change the incoming we have to change the description incoming G, uh, bank account here just copy and save that so now we don't have house bank and all so so same copy this and create outgoing branch sorry outgoing bank save this so now we have created three GL account so now again we will go to the uh, our bank account and here we will assign the now here we will assign the main GL so now go to your FI 112 screen and select the main GL account is your main GL account now save this got saved okay now we'll go to our Excel and we'll see that assign the house bank to the GL that we have done it so now we will create the invoice and then we will make a payment so next step as per that invoice and then we will make a payment so F-43 and our debit entry we are buying uh, organization is buying something so raw material star and plus save this now we will make a payment so t code is f-53 sorry f-53 We will select the outgoing GL. Forty. Okay, it's much. Vendor is double zero uh, eight double zero six. Payment made. Okay. so we will select the today's date value date okay and just okay we are getting some discount also because we are making payment same time so let's go back process and then post Ok, 
okay so we are getting some cash discount also because we are making a payment before time Post this. So now this is just a, a part. Now this uh, this document has created five zero six. This is a your cleared document number. So right now we have not a made a payment to the vendor. This is just a uh, in the SAP only. It is just a payment made. But in the actual in the actual scenario, payment is not made. It is just a, a document. Clearing document has been created. So now the back end part is that we have to create the check number and uh, and then we then under that we have to create the check lot leaf number. We have to assign that and then we have to uh, send the same thing. Then it will go to the vendor account so that I will explain you in the next video. So on the continuation of this video, I will explain. So I will cre uh, create part two for this. So let's go and check this balance FB L1N. So this is our vendor cleared item. We can check this. Just now we made a payment. Okay, thank you everyone for watching this video.